So today I'm going to be starting a new video series on this channel, which is an introduction to basic electronics. A lot of people have been asking me to do this as a video series and how to read a schematic, what does a transistor do, what does this type of circuit do, and so on and so forth for people who have no electronics experience. And I've always said I don't want to do that. There's a good reason for that. In order to get to a point where in my early 20s I can repair an HCA 1000A amplifier in less than an hour, where I could do motherboard repair on laptops in 20 to 40 minutes in order to get my, you know, my business where I wanted it to be, my life where I wanted it to be, and my knowledge base where I wanted it to be so that I could you know, practically perform this stuff, I had to skip over a lot. Again, if I'm going to get a master's degree, you know, I, I would just be graduating maybe a year ago from something like that, much less have any practical experience. So there's a lot that I had to skip over. And what I skipped over is formal education. In fact, what I skipped over was any form of education. I'm a college dropout who barely passed high school. So I don't have a lot of the formal education necessary to actually explain a lot of these concepts to you. Everything that I explain to you is what I figured out on my own by doing my own independent research, by staring at something, guessing what it did, reading data sheets, going back and forth, and just eventually figuring out over years and years of time how everything works. I don't have, again, any formal education. So, if, And there are a lot of channels out there where there is some who has a master's degree in electronics engineering, who does have a real job in the real world, who does know how to teach, there are channels out there that are taught by these people who are good at explaining these concepts. And if they exist, again, why would you want to hear potential misinformation from me in explaining it when I don't have any of that, any of that knowledge? Again, if I were to do this, you're going to be missing out on a lot. And there's also a lot of information I may give you that may actually be incorrect. And that's something that really annoys me about the internet. You know, like for example, when I see a videos from iFixit on how to fix a graphics chip using a heat gun, I, you know, I almost want to punch my laptop screen because here's a credible source of that looks credible and seems credible, but they're actually giving you really, really bad and incorrect information, implying that the solder balls are the problem and not the flip chip G, uh, design of the GPU and, the, and that it's not the bumps inside the chip that are failing, but the balls. It's, it's just, you know, it's really bad information and it's coming from a credible source. And since this channel is becoming more of a credible source, I really don't want to use it as a platform to give you incorrect information. However, more and more people ask me about this every single day, and since this channel has reached 8,000 subscribers, and it is supported completely off of you, your views, which I'm very, very happy for, I feel like if you keep asking for something that I should entertain it somewhat, since, again, ye, all of you watching, this is what makes this possible. So I'm going to be explaining as much as I can, and again, I want you to realize, if you are somebody with a degree in electronics, if you're somebody who teaches electronics, if you're an actual real electronics engineer, and not just a do-it-yourself hack that has practical know-how, please do keep in mind that I am not trying to correct you. I know that I am probably wrong on a lot of this. Again, I'm good enough at what I do that you know I could fix an HCA 1000A amplifier or a dead laptop motherboard in 10 to 20 minutes. I'm good like that. But in terms of how a transistor works, how an inductor works, how do you calculate resistance and, you know, how how you fill up a resistor to you know get it to a certain resistance how and you know again how you calculate inductance and capacitance and the beta value of a transistor all that stuff I will completely admit that is over my head. That being said, my goal with this specific video series is not going to be to be an encyclopedic reference for the perfect and correct information when it comes to these types of things. It's going to be to make it so that if you have no electronics experience, you can understand the concepts I'm explaining to you without needing to know what everything else means and without confusing you. I want you to be able to walk away from this having a basic understanding of how all these devices and all these circuits work and interact with one another without actually having to go to college without having to take years and years out of your life to learn all these other concepts. I'm going to try to explain it in as simple a way as I can and in a manner that has not been done before. And if, if, you know, if this winds up being useful to you, then I'm, I'm a happy guy.